Joining us now is Clayton Anderson. He's a retired NASA astronaut and member of the 15th expedition to the International Space Station. Uh, great to have you here. Aerospace rivalries aside, I think the first question on everyone's mind is, how the heck does this happen? <laughs> well, I think it's a combination of factors. Um, their safety is always primary. We want to protect the safety of the crew and the vehicle. Um, and that's what they're trying to do here. I, I personally think maybe that it would have been safe for Boeing and uh, Sonny and Butch to come home on the Starliner. They're test pilots after all. Uh, but I don't know all the intimate details of the data that was transferred. And there are a lot of smart people at NASA, a lot of smart people that were advising them. Uh, so I'm sure they made the right decision in their minds yeah, to keep they, them up there for a while. They said it was a safety issue. And after the tragedies we've experienced, nobody wants to mess with anything that's a safety issue. But Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore, they packed and prepared for an eight-day trip. They didn't pack eight months' worth of clothes or supplies. There's no way to wash anything up there. How do they make do now for eight months? Well, there's nothing wrong with the delivery system, right? Those are separate vehicles. Those, pro uh, those processes are solid. Uh, they come up on a regular basis. So there'll be plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of oxygen, plenty of underwear. They shouldn't have any problem in that regard. Uh, hopefully a couple pairs of pants and a spare T-shirt or two as well, since they <laughs> hadn't planned on eight months when they packed for eight days. There are now nine people on board the International Space Station. ISS typically has a crew of like seven. Is the space station able to, you know, is there enough spaces to sleep? Yeah, most of the crew uh, have their own sleep stations, but those that don't, like Butch and Sonny, they can move around. I slept... In a, in a crew sleep station for many months of my five month stay, but then at the end I had to get moved and I just found a place that was comfortable, that was dark and that was cool and relatively quiet. That's all you need. I'm just curious, do you think that Sonny and Butch had any say at all in this decision to have them stay and not risk coming back aboard the Boeing Starliner? I'm sure they had input. I'm sure they got as much of the data and information transferred to them uh, that NASA was getting. Uh, but the crew is the crew, and, and they're, they're there to do a mission, to execute a mission. So basically, they're going to take uh, whatever NASA tells them is the answer, and they're going to go for it, and they're going to make adjustments in their own mindset to be able to execute the mission as designed. And I know these astronauts, like yourself, are screened psychologically to make sure they don't freak out when being told that, hey, it's eight months instead of eight days. I'd have been a little chapped. You yeah. know, my wife and I talked about that sort of thing toward the end of my increment, and we both decided that the two of us and our family could sustain maybe a one-month or a two-month extension without, you know, going crazy. But I think uh, what these guys are being asked to experience is a little bit out of the ordinary. I think they'll be able to adapt. But if it were me personally, um, I'd have a lot of anger to get over before I could get to the point where I could just focus on doing the mission afterward. Thank you for being honest, Clayton. I really appreciate it. Clayton Anderson, former astronaut. I always think you guys are the coolest. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.